Glad to be joined on the line by the Belleville Senators reigning, defending, most valuable player and leading scorer, Jake Lucchini, uh, among the uh, recent signings this week as free agency opens. And we'll be back for another season here uh, in Belleville and perhaps some time in Ottawa as well. Uh, Luch, congrats on, on the new deal. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm excited, excited to be back. Uh, the process uh, happened pretty quickly for you. Um, you. You get signed inside the first couple days of the free agency window opening. Um, what was that uh, kind of negotiation like from from your end, and uh, how happy are you to uh, to put pen to paper again here with the Senators? Yeah, it, um, you know, like I said, kind of at the end of the year, like I, I really enjoyed my time with Belleville, and you know, it was such a good opportunity, and I, I you know, I um, I really wanted to come back, so. Um, for me, in the in the last couple of months here, I haven't really worried too much about you know what was going to happen or anything like that. I just kind of trusted the process, and and um, you know my agent did a good job with with um, you know getting the the deal done, and I was uh, super happy that I was able to get it done so quick too, because you know those are things that that you you like to or you don't like to think about, and you know getting it done right away was was uh, was really easy for me. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm just super excited to be back. I love my time there, and I'm looking forward to this year. Yeah, and it, it must not have been too tough of a decision from the management perspective as well. I mean, you look at the the year that you're coming off of a, a career campaign with 51 points, as we mentioned, leading the team here uh, in scoring. Um, what was it about uh, the situation last year, perhaps that that helped uh, lead you to to that success? Was it uh, a chance to maybe just get that belief and uh, that tap on the shoulder from the coaching staff? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, coming in, I didn't, didn't have a lot of expectations for myself. Um, you know, I just kind of wanted to come in and, and work hard and, you know, try to have a positive impact on the team. And um, I just felt like I got a really good opportunity. I'm very familiar with, with uh, Ben Sexton, our assistant coach. And I think, you know, working with him, you know, gave me that confidence. And, and whenever you can play with confidence, you know, you're, you're going to, I think, succeed. And, um, you know, I thought I played um, you know, most of the year with confidence, obviously there's, there's ups and downs, but, um, you know, I just really, you know, the coaching staff, um, you know, everybody in the organization, um, has treated me with nothing but respect. And, um, it's, uh, it's, it's awesome. Chatting with the senators forward, Jake Lucchini. Um, uh, there's been a lot of change in the organization, plenty of players out and, and a management change as well. Uh, are you familiar with Ryan bonus at all uh, from your time with the penguins? Um, no, not, not really. Um, I might've met him maybe a few times, but, um, for the most part, I didn't see him much. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I kind of looked, looked at, uh, you know, the new management and stuff like that. And, you know, it's a, it's a good opportunity to kind of make, make, uh, a, a positive impact and, a, um, yeah, just a positive impact and, you know, try to be the best I can be. As as you headed into the off season, uh, Jake just playing in all seventy two games and, and both Calder Cup playoff games. Uh, after a years affected with COVID, how much uh, was that nice to play all seventy two and kind of get back to normalcy? Yeah, it's uh, it was it was really uh, it was really important. I think you know, especially for myself. Uh, you know, my first year was cut short, and then second year was uh, was a shortened season. So. Um, you know, I like to think I'm, I'm a little bit of an older guy, but honestly, I haven't played. Well, last year was my first year. I played a full year um, in the league. So, I, you know, I think it was just good for me to kind of get that experience of playing that many games and, and um, you know, just getting that confidence, like I said before, just throughout the, the entire season and, you know, kind of work through the ups and the downs. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I think it was just good for me to kind of play, play a full season and, and uh, just kind of get my feet under me in that, in that regard summers uh progressed here what what does your workout routine kind of look like yeah i'm working out five days a week uh monday to friday um just back here in uh british columbia right now enjoying the the nice weather it was kind of crappy for a little bit but um the weather's uh the weather's starting to turn around which is nice and you know like to be home and see my family and friends so uh no the summer's been great so far you mentioned that you really enjoyed your time in Belleville. It's a smaller community, kind of similar to where you're from in, in Trail. How happy are you if you do end up in Belleville to kind of see the friendly faces again? Yeah, it's uh, it's exciting. Um, my first, you know, three years, I played on three different teams. So it's kind of nice to, to, you know, come back to a team where, where you're very familiar with a lot of, you know, a lot of people, obviously the coaching staff and, um, 
I think that's uh, that's just it's just a really good opportunity to, to to come back and and you know be familiar with a lot of people. A couple more minutes here with uh, Jake Lucini, Senators forward. Um, yeah, you're, you're coming back here, and there's been a fair amount of change in the roster, as as there always uh, is in the American Hockey League. No, no secret, really. Um, given that you are one of the the older guys, I suppose, um, do you think your role might change a little bit in the dressing room uh, as as a returning guy and and as somebody who led this team offensively last year? Yeah, I, I don't know if if I'd say it change it would change a lot. Um, you know, I just want to be the kind of the person I am and, and the player I am and not try to be something I'm not. Um, you know, obviously I'll come in and try to try to help the younger guys and be a leader towards them, but um I think, you know, I'm just gonna come in and just kinda treat it like any other year and, and you know, try to have a positive impact and, you know, help the help the younger guys and even, you know, they can help me as well. So um that that includes older guys too. So um, I don't see my role changing that much. I'm just going to try to come in and just kind of be the person and the player I am. And uh, getting that taste of Calder Cup playoff action last uh, season, uh, how uh, hungry, I guess, are, are you for, for that postseason play again? And um, how much of a goal is that for this team this year? Yeah, I, I think it's kind of our main main goal is, you know, obviously to get back, but, um, you know, have success in the playoffs. You know, obviously we had we had a very good end of the season and then, you know, we felt like we played pretty well in the playoffs and just two, you know, unfortunate overtime overtime games. But, um, yeah, I think I think it's super important to, to let the experience that we did have, and I think we can, you know, use that going moving forward. And then maybe lastly, I mean, if you look at all the excitement around the NHL team in Ottawa right now, um, is there a hope that perhaps some of that will trickle down here to, to Belleville as well? I mean, for me, it, it feels like a pretty uh, critical year for, for both teams in the organization. Yeah, I think you know it's really cool to see the the moves and the you know the trades and the the signings that that Ottawa that Ottawa's done. I think that just trickles down to to our team. Obviously, Ottawa wants to win now, and I feel like in Belleville here we we want to win now too. And I think you know the management's put both teams in in good situations, and have, both teams have a good opportunity to have success this year. Yeah, more signings likely to come, but one of the big ones is finished. That's Jake Lucini. Sends get there, a leading scorer back from 21-22. Thanks again for the time, Luch. Enjoy the rest of the summer. Awesome. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. We'll see you soon.